oh we've got news here courtesy of hypebeast that supreme have opened up a new flagship store in guess what one of my favorite cities in the world berlin um it happened just after i left actually i think they even did a screening for a new what's his name um the guy that films all the videos for fucking supreme is it william St strawbeck however you have you pronounce his fucking name the guy that looks like he doesn't shower and shit so th that dude obviously filmed a new um video for supreme he premiered it somewhere i guess it looks like it might be soho house in berlin um somewhere over there um loads of cool kids are there hanging around falling around doing the damn thing it's a supreme store in berlin i think a lot of people kind of guessed it i think i might have guessed it too in one of my older videos if i look back and say um mostly because of the investment that supreme got right and the fact that the, that investment firm didn't invest in supreme just to keep it the way it was there's obviously going to be some changes maybe not operation not operation that is operational maybe not in terms of design and in a product but in terms of how they operate as a business and expansion all that sort of stuff it was definitely going to be a mark it was definitely going to be a sign that they were going to ramp up the amount of stores that they had especially in europe and you know we've heard there's going to be maybe another store opening up in italy i've heard of another store maybe opening up in amsterdam sorry in amsterdam yeah holland amsterdam Pacific, specifically too so there's loads of scope for them to go going forward but of course berlin is an is a good hub for them to go into loads of skaters from there especially from neighboring countries as well so i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cachet there too and that may be because I'm, I'm pretty much i'm pretty sure the sensible choice or the sensible kind of conclusion would be that when they open a new store in a new country that definitely means that they then increase the quantities of stuff that they're making right it doesn't mean that they just keep the same quantities and just kind of spread the thing across different stores i'm pretty sure that means they increase the quantity so if they increase in quantities that means there's going to be more likelihood for you to be able to get hold of supreme items and i think nowadays again even though i don't like i don't like it because it's not it doesn't make it as cool as it was for me in the past and you know that that is what it is i think it's quite unfair to kind of have that kind of it's not as cool anymore supreme thing because i think that it does operate similar to nike as like the first sort of entry that you need to have into the scene of streetwear in general or skatewear whatever it may be or skateboarding in general it adds as it acts as the kind of um entry yeah the kind of yeah the entry ticket that you need and then from there you kind of gain your understanding of what's going for because I, I have to be honest right so learning about supreme and skateboarding in general is what kind of informed my taste in music whether it comes to hip-hop whether it comes to indie whatever it may be right um all that's been informed basically via skate videos and going into the store and hearing certain people and edits and whatnot and clips and going on forums like sidewalk and slap magazine slaps you know forum and shit all those have definitely informed it so that's maybe its role it's always meant to be like that's meant to be a kind of the jumping off point you're meant to kind of go from there and then kind of go into other stuff going forward so maybe at, at this moment in time it's maybe not the coolest brand for me but i still kind of respect the that they're still doing that same thing for other kids or other people coming up now right they're kind of encountering supreme for the first time they're learning about who designed the interior of the store they're learning about who did the artwork for the for the store itself they're learning about who's going to be the manager because that's imagine when i was growing up that was a big thing to find out who was going to be the manager of this new um supreme store that opened right who's going to work there um who's going to be on a skate team who all these sort of things are really important could you get an invite to the flipping opening party or maybe to the after party in the same night it's just it's just really really important sort of shit going forward interesting though i've wondered it would berlin being a techno city and obviously supreme having its roots in hip-hop um especially in, in new york city will there be because we haven't seen the sofa we haven't seen much of supreme's kind of time in italy and maybe in france having any sort of inf basically informing maybe the, not the clothes they made but maybe the music that they kind of use and the tones and shit maybe when you go in the store it's different but we haven't really seen it too tough we haven't really seen them kind of marrying up or maybe doing a lot of ads or editorial from what i remember with like prominent italian rappers or french rappers and shit maybe there's some that i've completely missed that i don't really know about uh, on more underground but i haven't seen that many um, i always thought the italian one they could have done something with that guy called Packy, who I'm a big fan of. That could have been pretty sick. Um, he has a, a very supreme s kind of look, right, with his kind of gel down here. Um, but I would like to see if they are going to make that kind of pivot into maybe the dance music space. So you kind of see maybe a few of the kind of music guys rocking up with supreme stuff and whatnot, uh, or maybe they're going to be part of the lookbooks and whatnot going forward. Maybe Cobalsi over there might be. I don't know. I wonder if that's going to be a thing. I wonder. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be completely different. It's going to stick to 
to what they're doing but that would be pretty sick if that actually ends up happening um but yeah the supreme store on the inside looks pretty sick pretty cool kind of small really for the most part um it's fairly simple layout you know the vibes when it comes to supreme Clash of Highbeats, the Supreme has developed opening of doors of its all-new Berlin-based flagship store last week. The New York label, which also has a new store in Milan back in May, has confirmed that Germany said, yeah, exactly, they opened the Milan space only in May. And we are already in fucking, what's it, November, they've got another space in fucking Berlin. That's a pretty rapid... Um, expansion and for sure they're gonna have probably two more locations open up maybe more because you know these companies are they want to double the locations all times so maybe before locations next year but again it has to be said for such a big company for such a big for a company that's been around for so long the fact that they still remain something again it's not the coolest brand in the world but it's still got some element of core cool about it is definitely something to kind of give them credit for and to kind of tip their hat to them because they could have easily we've seen many of brands that are, you know again i love the guy bobby hundred but bobby hundred is a good example bobby hundreds had a brand in the hundreds that at one point was cool and it quickly became uncool you know because of various different things but you know collaborations the customer base where it was sold expansion all this sort of shit basically led it to be uncool to see the same sort of thing they were really cool for a bit then they became uncool then now they're cool again it's very difficult to keep your level of coolness consistent over the years especially with the changing nature of the industry changing customer base changing things in the world whatever it may be so for them to do to do it in some level is really admirable and something that definitely needs to be given a lot more credit than it probably does because a lot of people talk about oh it's not cool it's not cool. yeah it's cool it's not it's not meant to be cool to you anymore you're fucking 46 you know what i mean go and get a suit or something you know what i mean it makes simply sense but anyway continue to said um comes to the la la the Milan space has confirmed this new germany location will officially open on november the 11th um on the border of Mitte and prince lauerberg the announcement Follows a busy week for the label. Following the the, the store is located on the, 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 the Berlin. It will open from eleven um, in the morning to seven thirty on Monday to Saturday and twelve to six Monday to on Sunday. Sorry. So again, looks fucking fantastic. Love everything about it. Um, congrats to everybody over there at Supreme doing the Lord's work. <laughs> 